Hey guys, it's me, Shelly. Thanks for practicing with me today. Today our flow is going to focus on the splits. I know when we say the word splits, you might have an image that comes to your mind of being down on the ground with the legs extended in opposite directions. But really, anytime we're splitting our legs, whether it's in a lunge position, maybe it is down on the floor, but where we're splitting our legs, we are working on helping our pelvis come back into alignment. So really, one of the best flows that we could do or any sort of movement throughout the day is to incorporate a little bit of splits. So we're gonna start at the top of our mat in a mountain pose. Settle down through your feet, get nice and grounded, spreading the toes out. Put a little pressure into the big toe, the outer edges of the pinky toes, and the outer edges of the heels. Go ahead and extend those arms down, the chest lifts, and just take a couple of nice deep breaths right here. Center yourself and bring yourself in. Focusing in on your four corners of the mat today. Now let's go ahead and step our leg back and extend those arms high. Now as we set ourselves up into this lunge position, think of the legs being more on railroad tracks than on a tightrope. So legs wider is going to give us a little bit more balance and support. So just make sure that those legs are wide enough that we feel stable through the center of the body. There's a nice deep bend through that front knee and just making sure our knees stay behind our toes. You have a lot of options with your arms. One of those would be to go into a cactus arm, and you can find even a little bit of a gentle back bend here. Hands might come to heart center, or today I'm going to extend the hands over the head. So just this nice high lunge position, and let's just pause and hold for a couple of breaths. Breathing into our nose and out of the nose. Lifting up onto the back foot, so on the ball of the foot and the heel is lifted. From here, hinging from our hips, keeping our core engaged, Release the arms down towards the floor. The hands can come to the thigh. If you have blocks, you can reach hands to a block or just bringing them down to the floor, finding that low lunge. Create some space between the shoulders and the ears, reaching the crown of the head forward. And let's pause here for a couple of breaths. Just taking our time to ease into these poses. Hands can press into your blocks or into the floor as we kick this back leg up into what we call a three-point balance. It's okay if the head is not touching the thighs, right? We're really just pressing gently into the floor, dropping the head down, creating this standing split. From here, go ahead and release that front leg. Take a nice deep bend of the knees, hinging from our hips, rise all the way up into that mountain pose. Hands can come back into heart center and release down to the side. Just take a little pause here, breathing in. And let's go ahead and take that flow on the opposite side. Your other leg steps back. And just taking time throughout this first flow to settle in, to feel our body square the hips up and start to extend those arms. Feel the shoulders dropping down away from the ears and just take a couple of breaths here. Good, if we were thinking of alignment, the head right over the shoulders, the shoulders are over the hips. We're hinging from our hips with our hands reach towards the floor. You could stop at your thigh, come to blocks, or hands reach down. You might slide that back foot down the mat slightly just to get a bigger range of motion here. Keep reaching through the crown of the head and take a couple of deep breaths in. Breathe in through the nose. You might rock the fingertips a little bit more forward as we kick that back leg up and find our way into that three-point balance. You can even challenge this pose by walking one hand back, holding on to the ankle. If that felt okay, you can release the other arm as well. Taking one more deep breath, release that leg. Nice deep bend of the knees, hinging from our hips, rise up. Coming into mountain pose, hands come back heart center. So we're going to start to take that flow with breath, so it'll move a little bit faster. But stepping back, find our high lunge. Use an exhale here as the hands lower down to the mat, finding our low lunge. Kicking weight into the front foot, back leg lifts, three-point balance. Stepping our legs together, deep bend of the knees, hinge from the hips, rising back up. Let's step right back with the opposite leg into our high lunge. Tucking the tailbone, pressing the hips forward. Exhale, lower down, low lunge. Kicking that leg up, dropping the head and the chest closer to the thighs. Stepping the legs together, bending our knees, rise up. Hands come back. Let's take that flow one more time. 
Inhale, step it back, high lunge. Exhale to lower down, low lunge. Inhale, kicking our leg up. And exhale, step the legs together. Inhale, come up, mountain pose. Reaching that opposite leg back. And exhale, lower down, low lunge. Find your way into that three-point balance. Stepping legs together, deep bend in the knees. And rise back up. Hands coming back to heart center. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Until we meet again, namaste.